at USPS. About to ship out three different packages. Totaling of $34, we got a $21 New York Yankees jersey, uh, Robinson Cano, number 24. We got a small men's vest, dress vest for seven bucks. And we got two Elvis Presley CDs for seven bucks. Let's go. So, on my lunch break, just made 35 bucks. Whenever I do get paid on them. A little sales trick for you guys on Facebook. If you can't ship it out or whatever and you know you're gonna be late, but you know you're still gonna have it somewhat on time, just print the shipping label and send them the tracking number. Boom, problem solved, baby. All right, dropping off the True Leaf shirt package. Another $15 made on my lunch break. Okay, our garage selling. I just picked up um, three very nice suits. One of them is Van Heusen. All of them, all of them for 10 bucks. So that's like $3.33 a piece. And she threw in this Harley Davidson hat. Let's go. All that for 10 bucks. Second yard sale. We got some glasses. Got the Bud Light. Green beer from St. Pete. Got another wing house to go with my three other ones. All that for $2. Let's go. Got me a Not Today Satan shirt and a Pepsi Cola shirt. And both of them I got for a dollar. He didn't want to do it because they were already a dollar each. But I did Gary V's tactic where I'm just like, walk around for a little bit, think about it, and you're like, yeah, look, I'll give you a dollar. And he goes, all right, I'll take a bug. Bam, take my savings any way I can get it. Now I can use that dollar other places. Okay, y'all. So, um, almost scored a big Superman. She had it listed for 50 bucks. I was trying to get the Superman and this Aladdin thing here at the same time. And um, I, she had the Aladdin for 20 and she had the Superman for 50. And so I was like, I know it's not the same price range, but if you want to let it go, both of them for 25, I can do that. And she was like, no, absolutely not. But then she said, I'll let you do the Aladdin for 10 if you want to get your business started. And I said, if you do it for me for seven, I'll do it. And guess what? Yeah, we got this for seven bucks. It was listed for 20 and then she offered it to me and then she offered it to me for 10. She didn't get it. She got seven, baby. Let's go. In the package seal, let's go. This could very well be old school vintage Pokemon. Just look at how old this looks. Oh, why? It's wooden. It's got drawing on the back. <laughs> it's That's crazy. I got that for a buck. Oh, man. Knock on wood. <laughs> what I did get, and I got it all for a dollar, all three. So, 33 cents for Pilaf. Okay. 33 cents for Mr. Penguin. Okay. And 33 cents for fucking Elmo. Let's fucking go. A dollar for all three. Come on, you can't beat that shit. This got definitely a Paw Patrol. Um, a little stuffed animal, still in all of its packaging. Uh, fucking awesome. He wanted five for it, he gave it to me for two. Um, I got a whole bunch of, uh, uh, P I got two PS4 video games, possibly three, a PS3 game, uh, a couple Xbox One games, um, like a UFC 2009 game, I got that in that mix. Uh, I got some Shrek DVDs, good stuff, good stuff, and all of it for 20 bucks. I got a Philadelphia Eagles clock in that mix and the Philadelphia Eagles um, sleep pants. So that's gonna be going to Daniel. And uh, damn, 20 bucks for all that. I almost hesitated when he said 20 bucks for all. I said, would you do it for 15? And he goes, well, I already took seven, eight bucks off. You're supposed to be around 30 and I gave it to you for 20. I go, you know what, deal, we'll call it a deal. But that's what I'm learning. Always push one more time. Even though I didn't get the 15 I asked for, I added on the Philadelphia Eagles sleep pants and a Florida Marlins mini ice cream baseball hat um, in there afterwards because he can see that I'm comfortable asking for less or asking for more, rather, and uh, more for less. And so he's going to budge into that more often when you do stuff like that. When you show them that you're not afraid to ask for the deal that you want and that you're not afraid to 
you know, bundle stuff together and buy a bunch if they're willing to work with you. Because if you show them that, that you're serious, they usually work with you. Oh, snap, and we got another garage sale right here, right next to my street. Let's go. And I just got three pairs of really good dress shoes for $30, so $10 each. It's ridiculous, those are like $100 shoes. All right, going flea marketing, and I got my prime, baby, let's go. Back from the flea market, got me some new shades. Uh, Daniel bought me some new shades, so thank you, Daniel. And they also fold. It's pretty fucking cool. Look, isn't that fucking cool? Put these back on here. Also, left my other pair of sunglasses at Daniel's house, so reminder to self to text him about your shades that you left. The Morpheus shades. As y'all can see, we went garage selling. I just got me a Harley Davidson. Um, motorcycle riding jacket uh, it's for you to actually wear when you're riding a motorcycle listed for 25 at the garage sale but uh, I finagled her down to first 10 and then I got it for seven bucks boom done deal almost got me a Harley Davidson helmet with it but she wanted 50 bucks for the helmet I tried getting her down to 20 she wasn't budging so usually when they don't budge at my first offer it's a pretty good indicator that their price tag is going to be too high for me. You know, for at least the price entry point that I want to be entering in at. <laughs> then, as well, me and Daniel pulled up on a garage sale and got a whole bunch of WWE action figures. <laughs> I got another bag of this. And I got the set, uh, the ring, where they fight out of too all for 40 bucks so i got two whole bags of action figures they were like three bucks a pop four bucks a pop depending on the figure and the sets all for 40. so uh, i paid a little bit more than what i wanted to there but they, uh, they also threw in some lego land cups and um and a harry potter book and the magic treehouse book so i got some free items for buying the whole set for 40. so it kind of evens out uh, i want to do it that way Whenever I make a big purchase like that, I always make the buyer give me something extra for free. Something. A little rule of thumb for y'all. Anyway, um, fucking good day out garage selling. Fully marketing. Fuck yeah. Now, to get back and organize all this shit. Let's go.